today is February the 7th. We just took a picture of my mother holding her birth certificate that was finally amended after 15 years. I want to thank the NAACP, Mr. Antonio Blue. I want to thank the North Carolina Representative Garland Pierce for making this possible after many attempts with Raleigh at the vital records, much checks sent. My mother's 91, is terminally ill. Well, she got her birth certificate amended on January the 23rd, 2016. My mother is the mother of seven children. She did all seven children's amendment forms on February, on January 27th. They were overnighted, expedited fees, which totaled almost $300 sending everything to Raleigh. On Friday, February the 5th at 3.49, I get a call from Sheila Batten from Raleigh telling me that my mother, who is the birth mother of all seven children, is not allowed to change her children's birth certificates to Native American. Now, it took us years. My sister has been passed since March 24th, 2009. She worked for over 10 years on this herself. And to know now that my mother doesn't even have the right of the seven children she had to change their birth certificates. This is against the law. Where are, Where is a woman's rights? Where is any dignity? This is all injustice. And this is coming from the vital records. And I have dealt with Sheila Batten for many a years. And once again, Friday afternoon, after holding all this paperwork for 10 working days so they could get the expedite fees and everything, I get a denial for my mother. Well, this isn't going to work because she gave birth to these children. This is a civil rights case. If it is not changed, you will not hear the end of this. My mother is living day to day. Hospice has been called in. Raleigh was aware of this. But I didn't think I'd need Mr. Blue this time or, or Mr. Pierce because the mother was alive. She gave birth to these children. Who has the right if the mother doesn't have the right? Thank you.